Hello everyone, Cindy here. It's been a while. Um, things have been pretty crazy around here. I've been busy with my kids and uh, making cards and um, just, yeah, kids, life, family, I guess. <laughs> um, we had a really big scare over the Easter holiday weekend. My daughter fell and um, fractured her skull. Um, so that was really, really scary. But she is fine. She, There's no bleeding or swelling of her brain. Um, so uh, that's wonderful. Praise God. Um, so thankful for that. But it was quite scary. Um, we are at an Easter egg hunt for the neighborhood and um, we have a, a lake and there's a ravine and she got down in the ravine and she lost her footing and there was slippery and she slid backwards and fell about four feet onto her head so um, so that was pretty crazy so just very thankful that she's okay and she's going to be okay so um, so I wanted to uh, share some cards with you that I've done this past month um, yeah and then um, I also want to share um, this box with you uh, for um, our, my husband and I celebrated our uh, anniversary just recently and uh, and then Mother's Day is coming so my husband decided to get me the rest of my Copics for our anniversary and for Mother's Day so I am so super excited um, I don't have all of them yet. I'm really close. Um, probably later this month I'll order the rest. But um, we're close. So I had to get myself a case or something to put them in. And I've seen online where um, people are getting these plastic cases or um, some fabric storage cases I've seen them in. So um, this is what I came up with. I went to Ross's and I found this beautiful box. I just love it. I love birds. I love the colors on it. And um, I thought this will be perfect. So it's just one of those cardboard boxes that you you know can buy and store things. So this is what I got, and you open it up, and look at how pretty. And there's some birds up there. Aren't they pretty? I just I love birds, and the colors on this box are just gorgeous. And I thought that's perfect for my adult colors. Copics. So, um, so I just keep my color chart here, and there are my beautiful Copics. Love. So I'm missing a few over here. My reds, reds and um, red violets, and then some of my neutral colors, and that is it. So I'm so thankful for that. And um, so this is um, one of those crates that um, it's a light crate for like fluorescent lighting and I've seen this online. So I bought some of that and I've just cut it to where it wedges in there perfectly and I've stacked them like there's I think three high in here and it's perfect so I can easily get them out and put them in. And then I can close it and when I close it the the height is just perfect so um, they don't fall out and I can take this to different areas of my house to color if I want so I just wanted to share that with you because I'm super excited about it and it's fun um, great way to store your markers um, I thought about doing something more that's stationary, but you know, I just I want to be able to take my markers and um, go to a different part of the house uh, to be with the family if we're watching a movie or something. So, okay, I am going to get on to the cards. So these are accumulation of whimsy cards, quick creations, and now. Also, uh, Time for Tea Designs. I was asked by Jo Davies to join her design team, and I'm so super excited about it because I love her images. And um, so I got to share those with you. 
Super, super fun. Okay, so we'll start with Whimsy. Um, for the new release. Um, well, I showed you a couple cards from the new release on there, so, but um, this is one of them that I made. This is a shaker card. Isn't that cute? This is a Wii stamp. Uh, Sylvia Zett. Isn't it cute? That bunny is so adorable. Um, these are, this is a sentiment from, sorry about the glare, from Whimsy, Whimsy Sentiment. I don't know if she still has them or not. They were on clearance. But I just colored it and added some flowers. And it's a cute little shaker card. So that one was super fun to make. Okay, and then this is one from um, Art by Miran. This is called Number One. And I wanted to make this for my husband for his birthday, which is coming up on Monday. Um, and this is um, his favorite um, team's colors, the Broncos. So that is for my honey. Okay. And this is one. It's called Lizzie Love. And this is, um, oh gosh, I forget the name of this one. Um, let me look here. This one's called Patty's Party. There we go. And super cute. This is my first time coloring up one of these images. So, I just kept it simple. She's holding some like party streamers there, and then in the inside it comes with this balloon, the balloons and the sentiment. So, put them on the inside. And I've colored all those with my Copics. And then just recently I made this one, and this is um, called Berry Sweet. I'm trying to get so I don't get the shadow, but I just don't think I can avoid it. Um, Berry Sweet. This is a uh, Krista. I can never say her. The uh, Krista Hyde Barber. Krista Barber is what I'm going to say. Anyways, I love her images. And this one's called Berry Sweet. Um, I had so much fun coloring this. This is colored with my Copics. Lots of fun doing the shading on that strawberry. Okay, so those are my projects from Whimsy. Um, next I'm going to show you for Quick Creations. I did um, another shaker card and this is using a random fan and this one's I think called Bubble Love. Isn't that cute? Oh, just I love these stamps. I love random fan stamps. So just added some flowers. Um, this paper is the Prima um, butterfly collection. Sorry about the glare. I took one of the um, this comes in the paper and I put glossy accents on it. Some flowers, some stuff for my stash, did a rolled flower there. And there you have it. I colored this with my Copics also. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. And then I did these goodie bags. Um, and this is a stamp from CC Designs, and this is called Wingy Things. And I also use the Lawn, Front, Lawn Fawn Goodie Bag Die to make these. And I think they're super cute. Aren't they so adorable? Just cut out like a doily, put some glitter on them, colored them with my Copics. This one. I used a heart die, a Sizzix heart die, and cut the center out and put some, um, I use old packaging is what I use, um, and put that in there. I had candies in there, I took them out. And then that one. I think they're so darn cute. Okay, so those are my projects for Quick Creations, and then... These are my projects for um, um, Time for Tea Designs. Um, this is one I did. This is called Unicorn. And my daughter's birthday, well, I've got um, one is the 20th of this month, and the other one is the 
1st of May, so they're a couple weeks apart. So this will go to one of them. I think it's super cute. I love the bright colors. Actually, this is going to my one daughter who's turning seven. She loves purple, so that was my intent with this. So the horse is purple. I got one of this. It's not really stencil. They use it for kind of a needlepoint thing, those plastic things, and I sprayed on there. And um, this is a doodle bug paper. Can't remember the name of it. So, and that's that. Super fun. Just love the bright colors on that one. And then this is for um, Time for Tea Designs 2. This is called Playful Kitty. Colored it with my Copics. Put some yarn on there. She's playing with a ball of yarn. And it says, having fun. These are some homemade enamel dots. Um, and that was that one. And then this one I did, I don't think I've shown in a video. Um, I think this one's called Cute Flower Fairy. But uh, my memory isn't good on that. So just put some flowers on there. And colored this one with my colored pencils and put some glitter on. So I think that came out super cute. Okay. And my last one is this one called Baker Girl. I love this one. I think this image is so cute. This is some paper I got from Hobby Lobby and put some glitter on. I used some gesso and I don't know if you can see but I rubbed it over here and down below here um, and then I put it on her shoes and on the floor and on her apron and her hair for flower. So and I think that I think I just used regular gesso for that. So that one was super fun to make. So Okay, I think that's all my cards for now. Um, got a release for Whimsy coming up on Monday, um, so that's super fun. I will put the links down below on my blog, or for my blog, um, and you can see better pictures of all these cards and, and everything. So, um, I thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Leave me a comment if you like, and we'll talk to you soon.